Okay, so Bill King from the uh, from the Kennel Club. Charitable Trust. Charitable Trust, a little story about genetics. Your time starts now. I'm passionate about developing the science of canine genetics because it offers us great opportunities to improve genetic health and well-being of our companions. Some of the most distressing and painful conditions are inherited, and anything we can do to alleviate this situation gets my vote. So for many years, the Kennel Club Genetics Centre um, was based at the Animal Health Trust. And in March 2020, we got a telephone call. The Animal Health Trust was in trouble. July 2020, it had closed. Help, 40,000 bio samples, data and a team. Where do we take them? Answer, Cambridge. One year and three months later, we are open again to study canine genetics for the benefit of dogs. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Well, that is fantastic because that, that was one of the one of the huge calamities of, of, uh, of the pandemic. Um, the Animal Health Trust, uh, a centre of excellence for yeah. pretty much all breeds and species, yeah. uh, sadly closed. And it wasn't just the the immediate presence or, or, or lack of presence of, of the people of the Animal Health Trust, but it was the repositories of information and yeah. the databases they had there. Um, and I, I didn't know, actually, until you said that, that the, um, the, the canine genetic database had moved. But I'm so pleased this has found me hope. That's fantastic because that, that's a huge, absolutely huge resource. Yeah, the, well, in, in actual fact, we, we uh, had the proverbial phone calls with the administrator. Um, and would you believe that the freezers had a bigger monetary value than the um, biological samples? But to us, the bio samples were absolutely priceless. And so picture the scene. We arrived with two white vans and hoik out um, freezers and old PCs, which we have paid cash money for, and whip them across to Cambridge mm -hmm. um, and connect them into a lab there. And after a lot of toing and froing, we're operational again. Oh. And we're now going to look at polygenic, for want of a better description, polygenic um, um, uh, conditions um, and conditions that may involve environment as well. Um, so it's really exciting times. Yeah. Very exciting. 